Okay, so I said I was going to be filming this today, and here I am now. It is really hot here in Florida. Yay, Florida. And uh, anyways, so I did get my massive succulent haul today from AV Succulents, who I have actually had previous orders from. Uh, I have a video on my channel of an unboxing from them, and their succulents always come in amazing condition they're always beautiful I'm always so excited to have plants from them and so um, i was super excited to get this box today the pav succulents for these amazing plants um but i just figured um i already got them potted up and everything because it was it was a lot it was like seven to 18 plants or something like that um don't mind my crazy crazy hair anyway so I'm just going to show you all, I'm going to kind of go through and show you all what I have uh, from AV Succulents that I got today and kind of like a little overview of what I'm dealing with right now with my plants. Um, I am kind of recovering my plant collection right now after some neglect that kind of went on with them for a little while there. I lost quite a few plants, some are looking questionable <laughs> at this point and I even have maybe a question or two. Uh, for you all that maybe you can help me with with a couple of my plants that are struggling. So let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the plants. All right, so we have a lot going on here. And this is where I have a lot of problem children in here, but we're gonna go through it a bit. So the plants up top here are not the ones I got today. These are some of my other plants, but I figured I'd give you kind of a rundown of what I have here. So I have this lovely spider wart right here trailing all the way down. Um, this one, this is the OG, and I took cuttings from this plant and put them in this lawn planter down here or in back here, uh, and they are starting to grow up there now too. I love that plant because it gets like really pretty light purple flowers all over it. Um, this is just, I was having struggles with watering some of my plants, and so the plants that I have that liked a little more water I put in this it used to be the topper for a um, seed kind of germination kit thing I had and it would keep the the moisture the humidity in but now they're just sitting in it because when I water them it allows them to kind of bottom water um, and I have multiple different types of like aloes up here I have snowstorms I have delta dawns um, I have some spider plants here that aren't doing the best but you know it is what it is um i forget what this is called right here they usually kind of get like purpley you can kind of see some of the purple underneath some of these and i've had that plant for a while and it's just really reaching for the sun at this point and i kind of like the way it looks now that it's like kind of hanging over like that my lovely wise camera so that people don't steal my plants uh, this guy up here, who I got from a farmer's market about, I want to say four months ago, four or five months ago, and at one point I almost killed it, and it was down to like nothing, there was nothing left, and here we are, it's doing really well again, well, maybe not the best, best, but it's, it's trying, at least it's, you know, there. <laughs> and over here, this is where I start having some of my plants from AB Succulent. Um, so the ones here on this shelf for maybe succulents, um, I'm not even going to try with some of the names today because I, off the top of my head, I just don't have the names right now, but you know, feel free to, uh, if you want to put a timestamp and let me know what's what, that'd be great. But I have this cutie right here. Um, typically when my plants get here, especially like brand new acclimating, I don't water them for a while. I let them adjust. Uh, I have this cutie from AB Succulents. I'm gonna let that be for a bit, but these two came from there. These were originally, um, I propagated all these from other plants that I had. Uh, I got this mother spider plant, some aloes. I got this one from AB Succulents today. This one right here. This cutie right here, I love that one a lot. 
my poor sense of area. I did not get from AV succulents and that orchid back there that I've had since I moved here over six years ago. I don't know what's happening with that thing. Sense of area got eaten up by some snails a little while back. Uh, let me see. Oof. This little one has been a little struggle since it got here from AV succulents a few weeks back. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I have not watered it now. I've left it alone. I feel like it got too wet one week um, for me accidentally watering like other plants and, and it getting in there too much. And so I've let it dry out now and I'm just leaving it alone to see what happens. Uh, I have this string of tears from maybe succulents I got weeks ago. I got this guy. Oh gosh. A little less than a month ago back here. And as you can see, he's struggling. He's losing a ton of leaves very, very quickly. And I'm not sure what I did wrong. I kind of stuck my finger down in the soil in there and it felt a little more moist than I would have liked to have felt it. So I'm not sure if that's the problem. Um, if it somehow also got some drips from the other plants over here and got too wet. But I'm thinking, I don't know, part of me is like really afraid to try repotting it again and messing with it and stressing it out. But part of me is like, thinking that it doesn't want to sit in that moisture for too much longer and that's what's killing it so maybe I should just hurry up and try to move it to something dry I don't know if you have any tips please let me know all right this cute here this used to be a bunch of live moss and but I really I think it's it's so cute I got this from the farmer's market as well and now I just kind of sit um little bits from succulents on here to see if they will start to grow little babies. And it actually works really well, so. This guy who got really, really leggy from being indoors for a little while. My other spider wart that I love, I just got this recently as well. All right, let's see, we're gonna go down to where we have some more from maybe succulents. Whew, I have a lot going on here and a lot that have just kind of grown, like a lot of these were like little leaves that I plopped down in there and now they're growing all over the place. So I got this little guy today from AB Succulents. It's super, super cute. The rosettes are beautiful on it. I get this funky dude today from AB Succulents. I think it's so fantastic. I love the way it looks. It's really cool. I got this little friend from maybe succulents today. Uh, it's, I like the, it's just really pretty. All these little friends in here came from this guy. And I know just based on seeing a few in there that they can grow new plants from them. So I've just kind of like left them in the dry succulent mix that I have here. Uh, to see if they will start to throw out some roots. I got this friend right here from maybe succulents today. Uh, this friend back here also came in today. I love the color on it. Uh, this is also from AB succulents, but not from today. And I think I got this a few weeks back. These two right here both got here today from AB Succulents. My uh, poor little kind of wilting spotted begonia right here is flopping over them. Let's see here. This guy got here today and is from AB Succulents as well. I love the colors on it, it's beautiful. And this one also, both of these actually got here today. The calico kitten is one of my favorites. And uh, I lost mine during a hurricane uh, a little while back. It was that, I think it was Irma that I lost my calico kitten. I haven't had one since, um, but I love that plant. So there we go. And I think, is that everything for maybe succulents today? Wait, no, 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 we have a couple more over here for maybe succulents. This little one for maybe succulents. I think this is a 
is it um, Echeveria Bluebird. That was one of the ones that was labeled on there. I'm excited to see how that turns out. And then this little dude back here is also from today from AV Succulents. Um, there's just a bunch of plants that I have over here. This guy was also dead. Or, you know, clearly not dead, but like, I thought it was dead. It was down to nothing. There was nothing showing above the soil. And uh, I had let it go dry for far too long. Decided, hey, I'm just gonna water this thing, you know, off and on and see what happens. And boom, here we go. We have some more leaves here that are trying to open up. I think, is this called a money plant? I think so. I also love this little dude over here. I love how the undersides, I'm trying to see, how the leaves are like this red. And I love the little like detail, like the veining on the leaves. It's beautiful. This is just crazy, crazy. I love the stress colors on it, the red. It's really pretty. Uh, the samurai back there. All right, um, all right, back to this shell over here. We can talk a little bit about my problem plants. Ugh, I'm trying to squat down so I can see. Some of them I've kind of worked on, some not so much. This was a, <laughs> a rehabilitation project originally. I had, there was a fellow tenant in my apartment complex who was like, oh my gosh, my, my girlfriend kills all my plants. And she has some that are like basically dead if you want to try to bring them back to life. And I kind of just, it was super soaked when I got it. It was like rotting and the soil was so wet. I literally brought it here and let it dry out and have, sorry, video troubles. Anyways, you can see this thing is now reaching all the way over here and uh, throwing out these little air roots everywhere. I do not know what this dude is called, but I love it. And he's not a problem child. He's just really cute. And I just didn't have another spot for him yet, but he came from our farmer's market last week. I have this little friend who was recently very much neglected and I had to do a lot of pruning and trimming and everything. So he's looking a little odd right now, a little, a lot of little roots over here right now because I wasn't watering it enough. Um, but I've made some cuts here and there and I'm hoping that this is gonna branch out a little more. Um, and start looking a little bit nicer with time. And yeah, we'll make further adjustments as I can see, well, as I see things grow and changing to how they're gonna be, I guess. Um, there's another one right here who is really struggling as well. And I had to make some adjustments to that one too. And then down here I have this little cactus friend is gonna go to a friend of mine. Uh, it's cut from one of my massive cactuses I have growing out front. But she really likes those huge cactuses, so cacti, cactuses, I don't know. She wanted a piece of it, so here we are, and I'm just waiting for it to take root. And then I'll give it to her. This is our poor, holy cow. Like, I don't even know what to do at this point. This is an aloe snowstorm who was not getting enough sun and just started reaching. So I'm, I don't even know how to go about like making this not look so cuckoo, but if you have any tips for me as to how to make this not like this, please let me know. Roots are coming out the bottom of this now. Um, and I do not remember what this aloe is right here. I don't remember what this friend here is, but there you go. Uh, as far as what else we have out here, sheesh, proton plant. Some bromeliads that went through some struggles. This guy over here, so this was the parent plant and we had a massive hailstorm. It destroyed that plant, but I started seeing this 
this guy growing out the side. He was much smaller than he is now. And I'll, I figured it was gonna save itself and become this instead. So now that he's bigger, I've just gotta take the time now to clip off this, this sad looking fellow right here and then get this guy in a pot of his own. And same thing happened to this guy over here. We have some leaves growing on half of these right now. But yeah, for here as well, this guy died. But then we have this little friend here that popped out. And so same thing, we're gonna have to kind of separate the two. And that way the uh, healthy young friend right there can grow in that pot we'll get rid of the the not so lively one right there and our protons this guy's throwing out some really pretty flowers super excited about that um, I think these are called something blue candles or something like that like holy cow do you see that uh, the number of times I've jabbed myself with these and they get so stingy and itchy and then this has seen better days, but I love these guys. They were not so looking, not, oh my gosh, they are still not looking the best they've ever looked, but we had a bad snail issue during a rainstorm. We get these huge, huge snails that come up here and they munch crunch on everything out here. Uh, let's see. And uh, they've been eating all the leaves off of these plants, so. And then, this Cal and Cody right here. We have a bunch of them in the bottom of the, the Croton pot, see. Tons of them. And then this one over here, got like kind of burnt and everything and had snails all over it. So I've got to get this looking nicer, but I love, I love Tiger Cow and Cody. Although this doesn't look like the same type that I have in some of my others. It's like the leaves are a lot longer and they have this, like a scalloped look to them. So I'm not sure. Maybe there's something a little different. But anyways, there you go. That's what we're working with. Lots of little plants. Lots of little plants. Oh, we have this this guy we saved too. Another spider plant. This guy was in a an apartment here where its own old owner had unfortunately passed away, and so they were gonna toss this. But I guess she really, really loved this plant. And when I first got it, it was not not doing so hot. But it's it's coming along. It's it's growing. It's I'm just gonna get it in a little bit of a better shape, and it's all kind of tangled up right now. Um, it's in an area like at the corner over here where the sun doesn't hit it directly because if it does, it gets burnt. It doesn't like that very much. Um, but yeah, he's doing he's doing well. So, there you go. A little bit of a mess out here because I've been working on everything, but that is the current collection that I have for my succulents. And once again, thank you to AV Succulents for all these little pretty friends that we have throughout here. They're looking great. I hope they're still looking great in another week or two. So I guess we will have to see. Um, once again, if you have any tips for any of the plants that I have shown you, any of their little struggle bus guys, or maybe even the ones that I mentioned I just got today, if you have any names, any care tips, I always, always appreciate any advice that you all want to give me. Or maybe why that orchid over there hasn't flowered in over six years. It got burnt on accident recently in the sun. Cause I had to move it temporarily and then I forgot where I'd put it and the sun hit it really good for a day and that was the result but aside from that it's it's growing it's been growing it's like popping up all these little leaves that just never actually looked like an 
orchid, like as far as what I know to be an orchid with the flower and all that. It's never looked like that, so I don't know why. I don't know, but you know, we're gonna keep at it. But anyways, that's all. I hope you enjoyed my, uh, my haul and my collection. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.